Melanie and I are undoing the fencing from the chicken coop. We've ushered them in a little bit early and I just tacked on a fence here. Now what we're doing is going around, I'm clearing some brush, and I've got this fence here, I've got another one to go on top of it to make it higher. What we're doing is we're gonna come around and across the, uh, there's a big tree over here, there's a big tree there, no wait, there's one here and there's one over there, and then out, and we're gonna swing this fence out and into the woods as far as we can, and then we have another roll behind Melanie on the ground here that we're gonna set up, and the chickens are going to have a gigantic chicken run full of shrubs and bushes and all kinds of things, blueberries and all kinds of things. Um, probably by next year they'll have it dirt, but at least they'll have a huge area to play in with, like I said, some trees and stuff and some shade. So it'll be very nice. the end of the line right here for this one. So we'll pull it tight. I think that's all right. I'll come back with the the nails. Alright, can you pull as tight as you can please? Got it? Oh good, that's better. Hold it. This is going to shake. One. Put one at the bottom. stuff snags everything including the hammer handle okay and I'll grab two for that and then I'll come back and get more later well guys it's the extension of the chicken shack okay guys we've come to the point where the two fence pieces meet and we're going to tie this together without the trees so we're going to um, tie the two pieces together where we all meet here. Hold that. And then I've got to get the T posts out of the ground where we had them in the original chicken run and recycle them to hold the fence up over here in the forest where Melanie's just holding it up because it won't hold itself. Now the chickens are going to have blueberries and shrubs and everything out here. They're going to be in chicken heaven. I hope they don't scratch it all out. That it'll be able to regrow before they're able to wreck it all at any given time, but Time will tell. Closer at the bottom. Or critters might try to get through. Raccoons are not dumb. They'll try to find a weak point in the fence. And they'll try to get in. Now, we're not as worried about uh, critter proofing here totally like we would be generally because we put our birds away at night in the house. So what we got going on is we've got a larger day pen for them to run in and play in and eat bugs and stuff, which is going to cut down our food costs as well. Tremendously cut down our food costs in the summer months. 
and increase the quality of eggs and uh, meat production. So now I've got to get the T-posts and my pounder. So I'm going to shut off the camera for a little bit and we'll be back in a while. I'm going to get one more here. I'll be right back. I'm going to pull a T-post out of the chicken run while Melanie ties that up. I'm going to need one right here in front of your face. And then when he ties these up, I'm going to get the other one in. Right here. They're not the optimum height, but it does the job. Mm. All right, I'm stuck in here, Melanie. Oh no! Melanie, come here. Oh, Melanie, <laughs> my love. I'm gonna miss you. Hey. Yeah, I'm coming, but I have to connect them. Yeah, I'm gonna tie this up on the tree. I've got another post here. Uh, give me a couple, uh, four ties. I'll do this one over here, okay? Oh, I don't have it. Oh, you don't have any more? No. Are they outside? No. All right. <laughs> Don't forget to shut off the camera. Oh, that's all. There are no more. No, I told you no more. Oh, I didn't hear you. <sighs> I have one left. All right, we can finish it up tomorrow. So what we did guys, you'll get a better idea here. We came and unfolded here, ran it out straight out down the forest, and took out the T-post to recycle them out here. I need some taller ones and I need to put them up here. And then we used the trees where they were available. Here's where the original fence ended. So from that T-post all the way to here is quite a long uh, extension to the chicken pen. You can see diagonally how far we are from the chicken coop. That's where the end of this originally was and now it's here. So that's quite a long ways now. And then I had another roll somebody gave me a while back that extends all the way around here. I was going to come out further but it didn't make it. And that one ends here. And then I have a shorter fence. Uh, what is that about three and a half? Four feet tall, four feet tall. It goes here and extends all the way around and back to the chicken coop over there, which is quite a nice size fence. Now I have some other fence that I'm going to put on top of this one, using trees as support where I can, and that will prevent the birds from ever getting out. Actually, I only need a foot and a half high. I only need to make up this much difference about 18 inches of, of fence. So 
For now, I don't know if the chickens are even going to try to get out, but we'll see. I've got to trim off a branch like this, a tree like this one that's touching, where critters are going to get in. But essentially the birds are going to be put away in the night. So it's only during the daytime that's going to matter. And all this is going to be their forage area. That bush is going to stay in the middle for sh shade. That dead tree, I'd like to take it down, but there's the power line right there, and I just don't dare risk hitting it because it's leaning towards it. So one day I might have to get a ladder or something, and, and I don't know how to do that. But that's leaning, and um, I just don't like it. But I, I don't dare cut that one. And then I'll probably toss out the original tin and framing from the old toilet, the old outhouse. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll leave it there for the chickens. It's more shelter. We'll see what I decide. So I've still got to tack on some some staples into the trees. And then uh, we'll stake it down tighter at the ground all the way around with some little stakes. And we're good. It's a big chicken run now. Very big chicken run. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'm just going to finish tying this up and, and tacking it in. Melanie's going to start dinner. And um, that's it, guys. Good morning, everybody. Melanie's going to release the birdies. And we're going to watch their reaction as they find out they have new boundaries. Come on, guys. Come on, birds. At first, they're probably not going to notice that they have freedom. They're going in the normal place that they know. Rooster's like, huh? Eh, looks different. So far they haven't noticed. Look at them. They're used to their borders. Isn't that weird? Uh -huh. They're used to the borders. Oh no. Oh, that's weird. They don't know. Isn't that funny? They're going to be nervous at first. There's roosters doing what roosters do. There'll be food soon. The Jersey Giants, the big black ones, were intentionally meant to replace turkeys for meat birds. And we bought four of them and they all turned out to be roosters. So, unfortunately, um, instead of being... It takes them two years to grow up fully from what I've read. So instead of growing up fully, they're going to be eaten now because they're just um, stripping the feathers off the, the hens. We can't have this many roosters. Oh, yeah. This one has no tail. We just can't have that. And that's where they grab each other on the neck and on the tail. So they're exploring the new territory. They're quite happy. The girls are going to strip the plants bare. They're eating the leaves off the plants. So now the birds are exploring their new area. Got to clean the um, duck water. But there, this is going to reduce our food costs, and because the birds are going to be eating, there's blueberries out there. There's a lot of blueberries in this area right now. So they'll be eating blueberries, they'll be eating the leaves off the blueberries and off all the bushes and shrubs and they'll be getting insects. And I'm going to throw all the brush um, in the middle. There's some downed branches and stuff and that'll give them cover and places to roost as well. So, well there you go guys, they all discovered it pretty quickly. Enjoying their new freedom. Now that is massive compared to what they had. I'd say it's, is it about comparable to New York's where we had in Pine Bush? It's about the same, roughly. So chickens have a really, really nice area to play in. A lot of vitamins for them now. Well, there you go, guys. Chicken freedom. They are loving it. Look at them digging all through there now. Michelle is talking to the birds. She loves them. Well, that's good. That'll reduce the food cost for us on the homestead. Now each year I might expand a little bit further and further. I want to eventually give them a very large area back here from way over here all the way up almost to the road and around the back um, this way. But that'll cost money with time as I get more fence. We'll expand it 
more and more through the years and then hopefully we'll get enough to where the um, plants are able to regrow before the chickens can um, strip them bare. That's the goal. Alright guys, another day done. Uh, the, well, this is the beginning of a new day, but I mean another project done at the off-grid homestead. Hey Michelle, do you like the chickens, huh? Well, you love the chickens. Yeah. Well guys, thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share, and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Talk to you later.